Good morning. Doing good? Yeah, I like the thumbs up. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Mr. like what Mr. Christian said, my name is Matthew Crassel. I was a Wellington student for five years. I really enjoyed the school, and I'm going to talk more about that, how my experience was at Wellington later on today. So I always like to start with giving you guys a little overview of what autism is in general. The main definition is it's a treatable neurological spectrum disorder that affects between 1 to 150 children, adults, and youth in BC alone. So that's basically everybody of all ages. And most people that have autism see things differently than other people do, and that's the main reason why I got that diagnosis at a young age. And some people that have autism may have problems learning different subjects anywhere. So any school, any school or work or wherever or, and stuff like that, and games and stuff. I've had those problems a lot, and I'm going to talk more about that too eventually. So when I was born, the beginning of my life, I was recently born May 7th, 1998. I'm 19 now. It's good to be 19 and a real adult now and still liking to share my life. That's what I was as a kid and teenager. So when my first year of schooling was in preschool, I went to the Child Development Center a long time ago for two years. And that was the first year ever where I ever met new, new different people that I've never met before and then started to become friends with them. And then I didn't, it was hard for me also to understand new things, especially, especially with my disability. Because I know when I was young, I, I, actually I had problems speaking like talking to adults or kids, because I didn't start speaking until about four and a half years old. Most people will start speaking when they're about one and a half. They're like, mama, mama. But no, I wasn't like that. I, w I didn't speak till I was four. And also, in, when, I was, and then when, I get, when I got older and older, I enjoy like, being autistic, but I'm also gonna, I'm gonna, there's going to be more about that to come to as well. But definitely starting at this time, this was definitely a time where I didn't like being autistic because everybody else was different than me. And I just didn't understand it. So elementary school, I went to Uplands Park Elementary. Are there any Uplands kids? Yeah, I'm, there's, well, there's lots this time. That's good. Yeah, that was my elementary school. I went there from kindergarten to grade 7. And I remember going, going there for the first time, and I was so nervous especially at that time. Preschool, I wasn't really too nervous, but elementary school, it definitely was because I didn't expect what the schedule would be like or how long I was gonna be there. And then also, there was new teachers that I've never met before that I got to see. So it was very, very different. So grade one, I had lots of learning problems as well as behavior issues during recess especially. Recess was the time for me where I got into a lot of trouble, and I just didn't do the things that were right. Like, I was fighting with kids before, many times before. I still remember those times. And grade four was the worst year, because that happened a lot more. And going to the principal's office so many times every week. And also, not just the principal's office every time, but also talking with uh, teachers and educational assistants. But then grades five to seven, and it started to prove a little bit, but it wasn't 100% as how I am now. But it, it was getting there, though. So high school, I went to the school, of course, uh, for five years, as Mr. Christensen was saying. Uh, this is a great high school, and that's one of the reasons why I'm wearing my Wellington T-shirt today. Because I, I show pride and support to Wellington. Still up to say, I still cheer for the Wildcats teams and sports. I still do because Wellington means a lot to me. And then when I was you guys' age, starting high school, grade eight, the first day of high school was very different for me. It really was, because for a few num numbers of reasons, but I'll just tell you just the main reason. The first reason was I was, the building is so big that it's hard for me to, rem it was, I thought it was gonna be hard for me to remember where everything was and where all the classrooms I was going to were. But then also, my orientation day, the orientation day, I was going in right by the gym waiting to get started for orientation, and it turned out there were some more students there. And I was like, wait a minute, that's got to be something where there's students from other elementary schools, not just Uplands, that also attended Wellington for the rest of my years. 
So then I, what that basically means is two weeks into my first year of high school, I made lots of new friends and I started love going to school. And actually I made two times more friends that I did when I was in elementary school. And that's a big number. And that happens every time when you start a new chapter in your life. When you, like say if you were gonna go to university, for example, or if you were gonna go to work like, like, like I am now. It's a gr and you make, make lots of new friends that way. So we're gonna skip ahead to grade 11, grades, cause grades nine and 10 were basically the same as grade eight. So grade 11, there was the biggest moment in my grade 11 year, which was when I, when I decided on my own to change my life completely. And I'm about to, I'm just about to tell the story to you right now. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I like to hear that. So I was trying to go to sleep one night, it was a year and a half ago sometime, trying to fall asleep, but I just couldn't seem to fall asleep. Because what happened was my brain just got me thinking about all these times that I've done, done bad things over the years, for many, many years, elementary school and early high school years. Because I wasn't the actual 100% person, that's how I am now. So I decided, so before I fell asleep and after thinking about all these things, I, I said this, I whispered this into my own mind, which is tomorrow morning when I go to high school, I'm gonna go around to all the people I know and say that I'm sorry for everything that I've done that was wrong. So I did that to everybody around the school and I was emotional too, I felt emotional, so they knew I was very serious. So I was going to all these students trying to apologize and then it turned out I gave them a hug at the end. And then, true enough, once my life changed completely, all my friends in high school started to become such amazing friends to me, just like how it is now. So if I was gonna, like say, hang around at lunch for a little while today, and they soon saw me, but they didn't get a chance to yet, they're just gonna be like, Matthew, and run up to me, because cause of how much I care for everybody. And last year, grade 12, the final year of high school, of course, was very emotional to me, and I still feel emotional at this day. I feel emotional because of how much I really loved coming here, getting a good education, seeing all of my friends I've known for five plus years, and then, of course, this I'll never forget, during the 2016 high school award ceremony, I received something called a School Spirit Award, which I basically, that should, none of you guys have heard about yet, but you might hear about that at the awards ceremony that you guys will have this year. I, that you, they should be doing it again. I know they've done it for two years now. So the left picture is a picture of me when I was your age, grade eight. And then the other one is my grade 12 picture, my grad picture. So it's gonna happen to you guys, when you get to grade 12, you're gonna wear a gown, and of course, wear something fancy, just to make your parents happy. But I gotta tell you, I, I try not to smile because I wasn't excited to graduate. So I'm, this card here, um, some of the students from Rock City, you might remember this. This card here I got from all the students and staff at Rock City, just, just to how, you know, how proud I am to be graduated. And when, it was funny because there was a, an educational assistant teacher that, that was there last year and I was at a grad banquet months later when I, last time I saw her, she came as well, and she brought this huge envelope as well to the banquet, and I opened it, when she gave it to me, I opened it, and true enough, it was a big grad card, but then when I opened it, this is what it was. Congratulations, for best wishes from Rock City Elementary, and then it had all these names and all the staff. It, re it really mean a lot, pardon me? Oh yeah, yeah, it should be somewhere. I still have the card. Of course, I'm never gonna throw it away. It was a really good card. That's the reason why I always try to share it. Okay, now I'm gonna share something with you. It's called, I call this a big step. And the reason I call it that is not, like I was saying earlier, I won the School Spirit Award here in the school, but there's actually a, a double step in that. This here, I don't know if you guys have seen the Tom Mason Wildcat Award in the hallway. If, if you didn't yet, that's okay. You will eventually get to see it when it comes to lunchtime. So Mr. Mason right here, he was a vice principal for a couple of years and then he was also a student, a, a teacher before that too, and a coach. 
and he's retired now. He retired last year once I graduated from high school. So, and I want, so they wanted to surprise Mr. Mason for his retirement for creating his own award called the Tom Mason Wildcat Award because of how much he supported Wellington and how much he's meant a lot to Wellington for being a vice principal, being a good teacher, being a good coach in sports. But they also wanted not just Mr. Mason to win that, they wanted a student, a grad student, to, that did the same thing as what Mr. Mason did to win that award and have my name on a plaque and it will always be on there forever. And I'm gonna show you it now. So that's what it's like. So just out in the hallway when, when it comes to lunchtime, try to remember to look for that. And it's, it's, it's always gonna be up there. So people will never forget that. I know all my grad friends won't forget that. You know, it's really good, really good award. And it was really surprising for both myself and Mr. Mason as well. So then once I graduated from high school, it was very disappointing to leave just all my friends I've known for a very long time. It was really emotional. So I just want to show you just two of my best friends. Um, the one on the left is um, my best friend. His name's Daniel Goodman. I've met him at orientation grade eight. Still best friends at this day. Uh, he comes over to visit every so often at my place. And the other one is um, his name's Dane Norquay. Same age as me. Uh, I met him a bit in grade eight, but then we started talking more in grade nine. He's a good friend of mine. Now there's one question, I just want to finish off with one question I want you guys all to think about into your own mind, just when you're like, for the next while and throughout the rest of the school and throughout the rest of your grade nine, 10, 11, 12 year, which is this. How can you show school spirit to Wellington? How can you do it? Are you able to just, are you able to like, you know, show support to all the students that you've known for a very long time? Or like, you know, the teachers you have in your semesters and you know, like Mr. Christensen, Mr. Lintot and all those staff too. There's lots of ways and also take pride in helping out with something like, you know, help out with a club and stuff like that and show support and just like what I, what I did with Mr. Mason, which was giving him a hand with lots of different things. It was a really good thing. It was really good I did that and took a big step. So now, um, is there anybody that has any questions at all? Anyone? No? No. So well, just to finish off, uh, I just want to show you get. Oh, Ms. McCray again? Yeah? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Go ahead. Well, it's just not just getting ready to graduate and be like, I'm excited because I don't like school. No, 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 it's not that. I just want to, you know, with grade 12, when they get, when students get through grade 12, they can become a leader and take leadership for the, the new grade eights that, and new students that come to Wellington year, when the years go by. Because that, that happens, when, that's going to happen when you guys get through grade 12. Teachers are going to ask you this advice. Be a leader for the, young, the other kids. That's what I did too when I was in grade 12, and it worked. And actually, this is one of the reasons why I got this T-shirt here is just, just for a thank you. And that's that's the reason why I'm wearing it today. Thank you. Yeah. Sure, you guys don't have any questions? No. Yeah, I just want to. Oh, yeah. Which year was the hardest? Which school year? Yeah. Um, well, probably grade eight because it was kind of kind of nervous. And I just didn't get used to high school yet. That's probably it. Yeah. Yeah? Did your family support you? Pardon me? Did your family support you? Uh, yeah, they, they do try to, yeah. Because I know when I've been parented, when I, when I was still, I don't live with them anymore. But when I was living with them, oh, yeah. My parents are strict, too. And do you know what? That's why I'm strict. I've been strict for so many years because my parents try to get me that way. So that's why I try to keep students safe so then they don't do like, you know, drugs or underage drink because that's what really gets me angry. Thanks. Yep. And what was the most fun year? The fun year? Well, grade 12 was fun because there was a lot of the subjects I did were what I really enjoy. Like I definitely had to take physical education because physical education was a an easy subject, not just because it's easy, but I like exercising. 
And it, and it just never makes sense to me why people don't like PE. It really isn't, because I, I liked running in PE. I, I, I remember getting first place in most of the Emerald runs, even the, a double Emerald once. Yeah, and also playing games, having fun with the other students. It was so much fun. Yeah. Anyone else? No? 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 So I just, just a fit. One more there, Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely mathematics. Oh, yes, <laughs> it is. Anybody else don't like mathematics? Show of hands. Oh, <laughs> good, I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely mathematics. I agree. <clears throat> uh, but everything else wasn't that bad. Yeah. Last call, any questions? Yeah? I used yeah. I used to. I don't anymore, though. But um, the reason is because the, the teachers I've had there are not, most of them aren't there anymore. Especially my, um, my EA I had from grades one to seven that was with me in every class from those years. She's at, over at Fairview now, so she's not at Uplands anymore, so I just don't visit. I would, I, of course, I would come here because most of the students I know are still here, as well as the teachers and principals. Yeah, thanks. No one else? Yeah, just want, yeah, just want to finish off. Um, I have this website here, www.mmcrassel.wix.com forward slash my site. I have music. I've been a musician for 11 years, as well as other speeches I've done in schools I've done for two years. And I also had some interviews I've done too. And also I got some cool facts that you guys can all check out. That's very interesting. Thanks again. Yeah, thanks.